We're gonna have two million people cross this border for the first time ever. You're confident this border's secure? We have a secure border in that that is a priority for any nation, including ours and our administration. Hey guys, my name is Devore Darkens. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be responding to all of this coverage that Kamala Harris is getting about her finally being the presumptive nominee for the Democrat Party. And we're actually going to talk about the facts and not the feelings, because right now what is being put up in front of us is how people feel and not actually what the facts are. And so I want to dedicate this video for the people out there that really want to know Okay, what just happened? What just took place? Why is she all of a sudden the nominee? And is this somebody we should seriously be voting for? So before I get into the video clips and all that good stuff, you guys already know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. Let's play the first video. Now, one issue on the minds of many this election season, of course, immigration. It was already a major topic heading into this election cycle, but now the stakes could be even higher. The News 4 I Team's Jordan Elder joins us with why political experts say, especially in Texas, Kamala Harris's track record on the border could play a big role in how her campaign moves forward. This is a major sticking point for a lot of Texas voters, especially South Texas voters who see the immigration system every day. It's big for Texas leaders, too. Uh, the United States has a uh, United States border czar. And as far as I know, the United States border czar has actually never been to the border and seen people cross illegally. Now, uh, understand something, the border czar, right? It's kind of like one of those buzzwords that is used in politics to label something. In layman's terms, it's the person who was leading the border effort. Kamala Harris of the President um, Biden administration, she was the lead on fixing the border. Now, let's keep it honest. Both administrations, both sides, for at least the last 10 to 20 years, Immigration has always been an issue, but one thing's for sure over the last 20 years, we have never seen this amount of people crossing over the border. The number is up to 15 million. They're estimating, okay, that, that they're estimating. All right. So uh, let's keep going here. Texas leaders often refer to Kamala Harris as the border czar. That stems from her 2021 assignment to address the root causes of migration. She was directed to oversee diplomatic efforts with other nations and help enhance enforcement at their borders. Well, obviously the Republicans are going to make a great issue out of that, that you were in charge of the border. Look what you did uh, and not in a good way. So that could be a negative for her. There's no question about that. And in the last 24 hours since her campaign launch, we've already seen it. Governor Greg Abbott posting on X saying, quote, the border czar has been an utter failure. And if she's elected, quote, I think I will need to triple the border wall, razor wire barriers and National Guard on the border. The White House says Biden and Harris have secured more than five billion dollars since 2021, going toward addressing economic issues in Central America, which is a key factor in why those residents migrate to the U.S. So you guys seen that, right? And what I really want you guys to understand that it's not about the color of her skin. Right. I mean, what we care about is, will she be able to do the job? And one of the biggest things that we all have to come to the realization on, if you're truly looking at politics and you're really wanting to know what's true and what's real and and you really want to be informed, you have to understand where she's coming from. Kamala Harris is coming from San Francisco, California, probably the most progressive city in the country. And it is not close. It is not close. California, the most progressive state in the country. It is not close. And so if you're a person out there where you have been frustrated and fed up with the policies over the last four years and what has happened in your own personal life, because everything is much more expensive, what do you think is going to happen when she gets into the office and becomes president? She's going to continue the same thing. Because that's what their policies are based on. So we have to understand what's really going on. And not only, not only are these policies crazy, but the two big policies that people really have a problem with right now, the two big issues are immigration and the economy. So in regards to immigration, let's actually take a look at her history 
and see how she really feels about the border. Let's take a look at that. Okay. Do you have any plans to visit the border? I, at some point, you know, I, we are going to the border. We've been to the border. So you, this whole, this whole, this whole thing about the border, we've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I, mean, I don't, I don't understand the point that you're making. Yeah. So a while back, back in 2021, they were pushing her in regards to the border, right? The uh, president of the United States, President Biden, anointed her as the person who would take the lead on getting the border in control. Now, what's happening right now is the Democrats are pushing back on that idea. The media is pushing back on that idea that she has nothing really to do with the border. She never had really anything to do with the border. She never took the lead on the border. But guess what? We have the receipts. Let's take a look at that. I've asked her, uh, the VP today, because she's the most qualified person to do it, to lead our efforts with uh, Mexico and the Northern Triangle and the countries uh, that uh, help us. We're going to need help in stemming the movement of uh, so many folks uh, stemming the migration to our southern border. I mean, guys, going back and even listening to him back then, is ah, that's terrible. Anyways, uh, as you can see, he's the one saying that she was the most qualified person to work with Mexico and Canada in regards to the increased uh, migration of people trying to cross the border. That's what he was trying to say. And uh, the, the media is going to push back on this. They're going to say she did not have to take the lead. She never took the lead. She was never really anointed. That's just a talking point that Republicans are coming up with. But everything is recorded. It's all on the Internet. We have the receipts. It's true. She was put in charge of the border. She failed that mission. Uh, President Biden failed that mission. So if people are going to go out there and vote for her because they are a person of color, what they're really voting for is what has taken place over the last four years will happen the next four years. Let's continue to see what else she said about the border. We're going to have two million people cross this border for the first time ever. You're confident this border is secure? We have a secure border in that that is a priority for any nation, including ours and our administration. Did you guys understand what she just said? Let's let's replay that because we know what he's asking. Very simple question. Is the border secure? Let's see what she says. We're going to have two million people cross this border for the first time ever. You're confident this border is secure? We have a secure border in that that is a priority for any nation, including ours and our administration. I, I don't know where she was going with that. I don't know where she was going with that. And what you guys are going to have to understand is there's only one thing they want when it comes to the border. More people come in over. You know why? It gives them a reason to print more money. I think that's the reason why they let it happen. I think it allows them, instead of trying to necessarily control it, they just let people flood in, and it gives them a reason to expand the government and create more programs and to print more money. I, I really do believe that's the way that they see it. Now, that type of thinking is wrapped in this idea that, you know what, everybody coming across the border, they all deserve to be in our country and, um, you know, they all can get an, an asylum. And but it's not actually practical thinking that way, because not everybody crossing the border is doing it for the right reasons. And just on that, uh, about Kamala and her border woes, Fox News is reporting that she's actually yet to speak to the head of Border Patrol, the current head of Border Control, despite a continued crisis at the southern border, uh, as in this border. We are going to the border. We've been to the border. So you. this whole this whole this whole thing about the border, we've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that's a complete embarrassment. No wonder she's messed up the issue on the border. She's barely made an effort with Border Patrol, and now she wants to be the next president. Yeah, so you guys seen that. And so as we wrap this video up today, um, you know, she can't run on immigration, right? So what they're going to try to do is distract everybody with, uh, you know, uh, freedom for women and their reproductive rights. That's what they're going to do. They're going to use gender. They're going to use race. Um, that, that, that's the only thing that she could pull out of her pocket 
and get attention and have people buy into her message. Of course, the whole, if you're a person of color, you got to vote for her narrative. And the media is going to just make her out to be the second coming to Jesus Christ. And that's where I want to continue to do videos like this because it's very important that we're not making the same mistake people made back in 2020, where everybody was caught up with Black Lives Matter because they were all emotionally triggered about George Floyd and there was riots and the Democrats and the media did a good job of making President Trump look like he was the next Hitler when he was seriously far from that. Absolutely. So, hey, this is my mindset about all this. What's yours? What do you think about this whole immigration and what she's done to the border? Uh, what do you think she's going to respond with? What do you think the Republicans should do or President Trump should do? Uh, I want to hear all this and more in the comment section below. Thank you for checking out the video today. I will see you in the next one.